Bonopti, the bone biopsy needle system, will help you optimize tactility and efficiency during your bone interventions. Enclosed in every Bonopti package is our official instructions for use. The system consists of two parts. The Bonopti penetration set, which includes a pale blue cap cannula with stylet and an eccentric drill that allows the user to gain access into cortical bone. The Bonopti biopsy set includes a purple cap cannula with stylet, a core lock, a shepherd hook sample ejector pin, a sample ejector guide funnel, and a depth gauge. All of these features allow the user to sample somewhat sclerotic lesions. Begin your procedure by administering local anesthetic at the puncture site. Make a small incision with the scalpel to make the penetration of the skin easier. Press the penetration cannula with the stylet firmly down until the tip reaches the bone. Remove the stylet while holding the penetration cannula firmly against the bone to maintain the position. Insert the eccentric drill into the penetration cannula and now rotate it a few turns until the drill tip makes purchase on the bone. Verify the position and direction of the drill with diagnostic imaging. It is very easy to correct the position and direction at this point. Before drilling further, retract the penetration cannula to allow the wobbling movement of the eccentric drill. From an engineering standpoint, retracting the cannula exposes the eccentric drill bit, which allows the drill to make a hole that is larger than the cannula itself. Now continue to drill through the cortical bone. Use moderate axial pressure and as long turns as possible. When the drill has passed the cortical bone, advance the penetration cannula 2 to 3 millimeters into cortex. Make sure that the penetration cannula is firmly anchored into the bone. Remove the drill. The anchored cannula now provides a passage for the desired intervention such as an ablation, injection, or biopsy. Now we will perform a biopsy. The biopsy needle is designed for successful sampling of somewhat sclerotic lesions. More lytic lesions are also possible to sample by using a syringe pressed onto the lower fitting. For increased accuracy and precision during sampling, use of the depth gauge is recommended. Click the depth gauge onto the top of the penetration cannula hub. Insert the biopsy needle. The tip of the biopsy needle will then align with the tip of the penetration cannula. Break off the number of indicators needed to reach the target lesion. Each indicator is 5 millimeters. Advance the biopsy needle with the stylet inserted to the stop. The tip of the biopsy cannula is now at the targeted lesion. Now break off the number of indicators corresponding to the desired length of the sample. Remove the stylet and now rotate the biopsy needle clockwise while applying slight downward pressure to the stop. Insert the angled pin core lock. The angle pin will trap the specimen in the distal tip of the biopsy cannula. This will keep the sample intact during retrieval. Remove the biopsy cannula and the core lock at once. Remove the core lock. In order to obtain the sample, place the sample ejector guide funnel on the distal tip of the biopsy cannula. Now insert the shepherd hook ejector pin and push the sample out. It is important to note that the biopsy cannula is shaped like a cone. Therefore, the sample is pushed out through the lower opening of the cannula hub in order to avoid crushed artifacts. When performing multiple sampling, the stylet should remain in the biopsy needle until the new sampling location is reached in order to avoid contamination of the following samples. For additional product and ordering information, please visit us at www.opremed.com.